I... I, I want a word with you. Oh, can we take a rain check? My boss is due. No, we're going to talk now because you must have been laughing like a drain at me. I don't know what you're talking. Drop the pretense. Because let's face it, honey, you used to drop everything else. I beg your pardon. I know. I know it all. The red lights, Sinead's cardigan, you sleeping with Daniel, and you have taken me for a mug, the pair of you. There is nothing going on between me and Daniel, and as for the rest, I don't have to justify myself to you. Proud of it, are you? <laughs> you don't have a clue. I had no other option. There are always choices. If you think I made that choice, then you are even more naive than I thought. There were times I scrubbed myself so hard that I bled. Not to mention the nights I came home black and blue. I hated every second. Try explaining to your child why you're taping up holes in her shoes or telling your sick, terrified mother that she has to stay on her own all day because your zero-hour boss has yanked your chain. You try that. Then you come back and talk to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> My head's been spinning with it all up. I didn't mean to judge you. People never do. Doesn't stop him, though. Daniel was different. Yeah, I know that. That's why I want to keep him. Don't have to worry about me, love. I'll stay clear. I've got a new start in life for me and my daughter, and making that work is all I care about. OK. Good. Good. That's my boss. I've got to go. So I'm not the only one swerving the staff room? Oh, no. It's a madhouse in there at lunchtime. Plus, I've got all this marking to catch up on. Right, I'll uh, leave you to it, then. Is everything OK? Yeah. I'm just... It's OK. Could spare a few minutes. Such a pity we can't be friends. Always be friends. You know what I mean? That it can't be like it was when I first came here. You're the only person I can really talk to in that staff room, and now we can't. We can't. We just have to wait for Daisy to get used to the idea that we work together. It's had a lot to take in. I don't blame her for feeling the way that she does. This has been such a change, such a big adjustment, and every morning I have to convince myself that I can do this. You can do it. You are doing it. Only because you've been here to help me. I'll always be here for you. I'm not going anywhere. Thank you. Is that what you call an arm's length? Easy. Jenny said she saw you in here. So I thought I would join you for lunch and we could make up properly. But I see someone's beating me to it. No, no, Daisy. Daisy! All right. Do you hear some up? Like a whining noise. Yeah, some kind of insect, I reckon. Lads, I've got something here you definitely want to see. Do one, Turner. What? So you don't want to see this, though? No way. <laughs> There's more where that came from. I mean, look at that one. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, boys. You need to get to your next lesson. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say something funny? Because you won't be laughing when I send you to the head's office. Have we been naughty boys, miss? Do we need to be punished? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't know what you think you're playing at, but you're going to be late, so move it! Come on! Did you have a nice lunch? I'm sorry to take you out of your lesson. Don't worry about it. Is there a problem? Please, Miss Wheatley, have a seat. Ah, I had a run with some boys after lunch, if it's about that. I know, I might have been a bit heavy-handed. It was just lads being lads, testing the boundaries with the TA. I'll handle it better in the future. It's not your future I want to talk about. It's your past. 